Thank you so much for joining me today. Spyro video today. I don't want to call it Nostalgia Week, but this is a nostalgic game for me. Probably a lot of people out there. Good heavens. Oh, well, let me explain real quick. This is on Nintendo Switch, and it's the trilogy, so it's all three of the original games. And the funny thing is, the three of us in my family, me, my son, and my daughter, for me, we all have a different favorite. Dragons in the artisan world, then my son's is this one, the first. You to the next world. My daughter's is the second one, Ripto's Rage. And mine was the third one. I can't remember what it was called. First. That's all However, I, tell you. I thought you would be able to choose which trilogy you wanted to play, which of the trilogy. And the game just started. I've never played this on the Switch until now. I had no idea how the controls worked. <laughs> I look pathetic in this video, but I'm going to be honest with you here. This is how I always played this game. It was on PlayStation 2. I had about five Spyro games. After the third game, something happened with the creators. They either sold out or I don't remember, but they started making different Spyro games and none of them were worth buying, much less playing. They screwed everything up. I tried. I remember trying so many times to get into those types of games and make it work the way these three did and it was very upsetting. Anyway, this is how I always have played and I've been playing this since these games came out. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. And the scary thing with these games, I shouldn't even say this because they're baby games for heaven's sake. I could never advance unless my son or daughter came into the room and helped me beat a boss or hop over to some area. <laughs> so I, I'm on my own now and I don't see, <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to be able to finish any of these. Much less the first one here just to get to the second game and then finish the second game to get to the third. Why do I have to do that? Why isn't the choice in the menu? I want to play the third game. I don't want to play the first one. I don't want to play the second one. Actually, the second one is kind of cool. This one is cute because it's very nostalgic. But I was hoping I could choose and I can't. So that's upsetting. I'm just letting everybody know what you see is what you get. This is how I play the game. I'm horrible with controllers. I did find out though, after this, after, of course, I always find out after the fact. If you use the Joy Cons instead of the controller holder, you should have an easier time of it. I'll have to try that, but my Joy Cons are iffy. They work and then they don't. It's like a. You're going along, doing what you're supposed to be doing, and then all of a sudden everything just cuts out, or it freezes, or one of them decides to just not work at all. So I don't necessarily use the Joy-Cons. I did try it once with Animal Crossing doing that exercise routine. Because <laughs> I always thought it was funny how it, it has a doctor's warning on there. <laughs> if the doctor doesn't want you exercising, I wouldn't recommend doing this. And all it is is moving your wrists. <laughs> it's like, wow, if you're in that bad a shape, I feel so sorry for you, and I will pray for you. <laughs> it was no big deal. But I do understand that the Joy-Con does a lot more strenuous things with other games. See, I can't get the camera. With the PlayStation 2, I'm almost positive there was an option in options to not make the camera do that. Afraid? The camera's just going wherever it wants to go, and it takes a long time to get it back where you need it to be. There is no option on the Switch, so I'm very disappointed. However, I do have it on Steam as well, 
problem I have with Steam games is I'm not coordinated enough to use a mouse and the keyboard at the same time. I know experts can do it blindfolded, but if you watched any of my SimCity 5 videos, <laughs> I try to edit out as much of my snafus as I can, but my goodness. I hit the wrong key and suddenly I'm sh zoomed way over to one side or off the map entirely and or I hit the wrong button and it goes to the main menu and oh, it's very frustrating. So I can't imagine playing this game with a keyboard. I cannot, I'm not even going to say hardly, I cannot do those racing games that I like so much. Cars, motorcycles, trucks, whatever. I can't do that on a keyboard. It just doesn't work. And speaking of racing games and nostalgia, I played a lot of Sega, Sega games. Sega and PS2 were the two consoles that I had and my kids had the Nintendo stuff and the Game Boys. The screens were just too small for me and I'm sorry, but Nintendo, what was it? DS or I don't remember. It looked so 8-bit. Everything looked 8-bit. And then when you get a Sega game or a PS2 game and it looks like this, you're like, I'll never go back. <laughs> I will never. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I left this in <laughs> just to show you how bad I am at this game. And I've been playing this for decades. I, uh, they even tell you which buttons to press, but I have to get used to the, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I have to get used to the controller. So I will stop to position his, his view and then I'll go and I'll miss anyway. <laughs> what button was it to glide? I don't, Poor Spyro gets smashed into walls. So when it, this is me just trying to get into the sparklies here. Ugh. But I do like the game. Yeah, see, I took a picture. When I was just trying to get him into the sparkle. Oh my gosh, I am pathetic. <laughs> it's funny. I'm sorry, it's funny to me. I hope it's funny <laughs> to you guys. But I'm curious to know... If you guys were into these platform games back in the day, because boy, did I like them. There was Spyro. There was that Australian one. That Australian game was so fun that I ended up writing to them and saying, I just finished your game. And I've never done this before, but I have to tell you that was the cutest, most fun I've had in a while. And I thank you for making this game. What was his name? It was down under. I think he was a dingo. And it, it was pretty much like this. Darn. There was always also Tack and the Power of Juju. I had that. What else did I play? But the Road Rash series was on Sega. And I had all three of those. Road Rash 1, 2, and 3. Man, those were fun. I could do that for hours. And the funny thing is, is all of this occurred while my kids were little and going to school. And yes, I was, a, for the most part, a stay-at-home mom. I had several jobs. I worked in a law firm. I worked for a company that made those defibrillators while well, we distributed them. I worked with a friend on her company. I had a lot of jobs while I was trying to raise my kids. But for the most part, I was a stay-at-home mom. And when the house was clean and they had their lunches and they were all off to school, <laughs> I would spend an hour or two playing these games. And then I'd have to stop so that I could get ready for dinner and pick the kids up from school and all that other stuff. And then after they went to bed, I would hop back on and play for a little bit more. So when people say that people get addicted to this stuff, it used to scare me. Because I'm like, I don't 
want to there were actually stories back in the day about moms neglecting their kids because they were constantly playing video games and that terrified me I'm like I don't want to don't don't turn out that way don't do that but I never really had that problem I could walk away and I was very surprised by that because by nature I think I have an addictive personality so I was shocked by that but then I had to start worrying oh my gosh now my kids are going to get addicted to this so there were times when I would have to take the systems away from them because I caught them fibbing, you know. Are you doing your homework? Yeah, Mom. Okay. So I'd go back to doing what I was doing, then I'd peek in the door a little while later, and there they are, sitting like ducks, rocking side to side, holding their little remotes, playing Super Mario. Okay. You don't fib to Mama. You just don't do that. So I took the whole system away. They never had TVs in their room that worked, but they did work for these game boxes. That was a dumb thing to say. Game systems. There was only one TV in the house, and that was in the den. And that was Mom's game playing. <laughs> I let them play it once in a while, though. But they had to do something rewarding, you know? But I, I got off on that tangent. I don't know why. So there was, th I wish I could remember that Australian game. I keep wanting to say Sparks and that's not it because that's the little dragonfly there floating around. But it was an S, wasn't it? I hope it comes to me. Ty, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. That's not an S, that's a T. Ty the Tasmanian Tiger and Tack. I played those. So yeah, not, I didn't play the Nintendo games. My kids did that. And I think that's why they're so popular today is because a majority of the kids played Nintendo. Not too many of them played uh, PS2. I don't know why I thought PS2 had some really good games, but maybe because I was an adult that I had different outlook on this kind of stuff. Because those, 8-bit games that side-scrolled never appealed to me. My son was so into Sonic, it wasn't funny. And I got so tired of the jingles, the sounds, and him catching all them Cheerios. Oh my gosh. But he was determined to beat all these games. I didn't say anything because I, at that point, was thinking... I think this is good and I think this is character building because he he's getting frustrated but he is going back and trying again and again and again to do the right thing and that can't be wrong that can't be bad I had no idea what I was doing here by the way <laughs> I just hope for the best and it actually worked it's like I'm not gonna remember all these patterns and and this is the worst. Oh my gosh. If you thought I was doing bad previously, where do you see this? And these are my favorite parts of the game. These are the mini games. I love these things. Just not in the first world. And not having a handle on the controls. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Which button blows the hot? Fire, which button turns them? Which button makes them go up and down? How do I get the camera to move with him? Why won't the camera just stay on his head? Oh, it's so frustrating. I cannot remember, and I hit those barrels. I know I did. I think you're supposed to run on this track and smash the trains. I don't remember. I always used to just... Quite <laughs> I always used to just fire at the barrels anyway. Oh my gosh. And I, me, speaking of patience and determination, no. That, I think that's one of the reasons why I was so proud of See, I know, I know I hit those. I know I did. Uh, patience and determination. I never had that. I still don't have it. <laughs> I get angry so quick. I get frustrated even faster. And then I'm just like, all right, I'm done. 
goodbye. I, I'm not letting a game ruin my day. I'm just not going to do it. So I walk away. And then a couple minutes later, it's like, you're such a childish idiot. <laughs> Why are you doing this? You say you're not going to let a game defeat you, and then you let it, the game defeat you. <laughs> you walk around all miserable for a half hour because of a stupid game. <laughs> but that was me. And it was embarrassing that I was that way. And to a certain extent, I am still like that. It's like, can't you just do it? Just do it. Why? Oh, why do you have to be so stupid? A three-year-old can come in here and do this, and you can't get past the first part. You can't remember the buttons. You can't turn him. You can't get the camera to work. Oy. I mean, this is as far as I got in this one. But in the third game, I was getting really good at that. I have to tell you, the colors, the sparkles, the light, the worlds... They're all just so pretty. The art in these games just fascinates me. I do not know if they're using Sting's drummer in any of this music. It does sound familiar, but I don't think so. But the music was another... How would you say? A grabber? Why you like the game? So I keep picking up my mouse and dropping it. It's a force of habit, and I apologize. I don't know why I do this. Anyway, I was stunned that Sting's drummer was involved with the music for this. I know I hit them barrels. I know. Oh, boy. Yeah. So I keep retrying because I'm determined to make myself hear it. <laughs> keep trying different angles and nothing works I stink and the embarrassing thing like I said I've been playing this for decades well let me clarify I've had these games for decades I did play them for a long time I never mastered a single one and it's been a long time since I played this I've had this game and several others on my switch since I bought the switch and I've never once played them until now. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's going to take me a long time to get comfortable doing this. Yeah, I think you're supposed to run along those tracks. And then he goes really fast. But I could never control him, even on the PS2. I could never control him when I ran. So I gave up at this point. And this is normally how I would end these games. I really thank you for being with me today, sticking with me to the end here. Like the video if you did. Consider subscribing if you're interested. I hope you have an absolutely fabulous day. Take care now. Bye-bye.